Okay, this is a Telemark 508 emitter. It works on a Telemark 508 and 528 e-beam source. So I've already got the ceramics tucked in there. And then next step I usually make would be ceramic insulator and the two cathode blocks and then you can find your 632 by 516 screws get them started loose fit in there don't need to tighten it down yet kind of use it to square everything up and you need that one come on that would be nice we'll square it up and then you got your two cathode blocks kind of tucked together and you go find your beam former set that into place and then you need a little thing home grab yourself a screw with a flat washer speed 632 by half inch another 632 by half inch When you grab that, come on, that'll be nice. I just tuck that in there for now. And you get drop that. Tuck that up on there. Start your screw. Don't need to tighten it down, just need to snug it up in there. Another one of the 632 by half inch with a flat washer. I just snug that down in there too. Now you need some measure of gapping device. I got my feeler gauges, they're already preset for 60 thousandths. And this is where I set 60 thousandths between the beam former and the lip there, which would be the anode. And then you kind of press your finger up in there, hold that and thumb up in there, hold that into place. Try to make sure your cathode blocks stay square. Snug them down a little bit. Come on out of there. Snug them down a little bit. Check your gapping, it's not quite good in there. Let's try that some more. I want that 60 thousandths. You gotta back it out a little bit. Snug it down, snug it down. Watch for a square. Snug it down again. Get that. You want that one tightened down now. Get that one tightened down. Make sure you're sick. Make sure you're holding sixty thousandths. Then you set it back down, and then you got to find sixteen thousandths. Then you got your gapping at sixteen thousandths. Now the next step. It's kind of like threading two needles at the same time. Drop your filament down into its home down there, and you want to set your Sixteen thousandths feeler gauge. In this case, a feeler gauge. I don't know what else anybody would use. <clears throat> then I grab a little screwdriver, press that filament up against the gauge. 
You gotta try and make sure you hold 16,000 so you don't lose it. And you snug that down. A little bit there. Trying to keep your, help you keep your position. Making sure you hold the both sides of the filament against the feeder gauge, in this case. Snug that down. Kind of lock it down now. Move your, you can remove your feeder gauge, making sure you still got contact at 16 thousandths. And then you're gonna be way forward, usually where you want to be because you're going to have a beam former right in here and you want to tuck that to where just about half of your coils of your filament are exposed so you're going to have to push just past a little bit and let it kind of spring forward but you want to try and keep it as uniform as possible from end to end So you got just about half a year. Then you come back, maybe check the screw tension. You'd be really disappointed you start firing it and you lose that. And there you go, just about what you need to see. Final step would be grab your 632 by quarter inch, put them in their little homes for locking down your high voltage leads to the emitter. And it should be ready to fire.